And we're back with just a little bit of a mod spotlight. Someone sent me on a couple of mods that really make the early, well, deciding, getting your duplicates and your, your asteroids sorted at the start much, much simpler. So the two mods are Duplicate Generation Setting Manager and World Generation Setting Manager. I'll, I'll put the links to them in the description. But the important bit is when you go to select a new planet, you can go into game settings and you have all these nice little arrows here that go across. So for example, if we set this on no traits, um, you can ignore everything up here in the top left. It's only the bottom, uh, everything below world traits that's actually involved in this mod. So if we turn on no traits, the map will, whatever map you pick will have zero traits on it and you can just get a default map start. Or you can set it to random traits and it just functions as normal. As before, you can just keep rotating through. But if you want specific traits, you can actually tell it which ones you want. So let's say we want miscalculated pod location, geodes, a subsurface ocean, and a large glacier, because we want a nice map. And there you go. Not only that, maybe you think, well, I'd like some slime molds as well, and a frozen core and some magma channels. It will allow you to do that, and you can specifically custom generate your map. And you can still use a random seed, but you can pick precisely what type of uh, modifiers it's going to have on top of it. Just a very, very useful mod. Uh, the only downside of it is you can't really choose uh, precisely. You can't, say, list off a bunch of them that you want as random and then random, say, volcanoes, glaciers, subsurface ocean, and slime molds, and then have maps that have a random amount of those in it. So you really do have to pick specifically, but by and large, you can pick exactly what type of map you're looking for, and it cuts out all that nasty re rolling. Very useful little mod. Now, next up, we have the second mod, the one for duplicate character generation, and it gives you this little select duplicate trait button up here. Now, so I've selected a duplicate with plus six, seven excavation because I, I did the reroll a few times, and then in here you can reroll each trait individually. So for this digger, let's say we want mole hands or quick learner, we just keep hitting this button, and oh, never mind, I bypassed the mole hands. Uh, negative traits, you can pick whatever you want. Gastrophobia, I'm fine with that, and you can change the stress reaction to whatever you'd like. Say we want a vomiter. Apply settings, and there you go. You have exactly the duplicate you were looking for, but you didn't have to spend five minutes rolling for it. So let's do the same with the researcher over here, Hassan. We'll just uh, hit this. We want a positive trait of quick learner because we want a really, a really good um, science dupe. Small bladder, no, thank you. I think a bottom of stomach, no. And biohazardous, yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, binge eater, no, thank you. Destructive vomiter, yeah, we'll go with vomiter. That's fine by me. Wait, no, that's two vomiters. Let's get some ugly choir. Yeah, that's better. And there you go. You've got your researcher with all the stats they want. Far less re-rolling involved. Now, I don't know about you, but I usually spend about 10 minutes rolling for the exact duplicates I'm looking for. This saves me so much time and hassle. Uh, when you actually start the game, though, this mod won't affect any, anything that comes out of your portal. As far as I can tell, I, I spun it up for three cycles to get a portal picks, and the portal picks don't have this option. I prefer it that way. I want... I just want this to help me with my early rolls and just save me down, save me time there. In the actual center of the game, when you're actually playing and duplicates are coming out of your portal, it will be completely random and that will not be affected at all. Anyway, there are just two mods that were sent out to me that I thought were just so handy for setting up your, your maps. Uh, both of these mods were created by ONY here, so you can just go into the uh, links in the bottom and all you have to do is hit subscribe. The mods will get added to your game. If you don't know how to activate mods, just go into mods when you go in... in uh, into your system and you'll be you'll be able to figure it out pretty quickly it's just uh, tick the tick the arrows you want for this, the mods you want activated anyway thanks very much to Ani for sending those on to me they're just oh they're going to be so handy generating maps in future i hope you find these mods as useful as i did and uh, good luck